Today I'd like to go over typical log logic log management intelligence, new features and enhancements for version 6.1.0. 6.1.0 offers over 22 enhancements, of which we have an updated web UI, the last received time has been added to the log source status page, the maximum for index data retention has been increased, Independent archiving of index data versus raw data is now possible. You can now configure concurrent login sessions. We have EVA updates, an updated LMI self-signed certificates, enhanced management station RA sort order. Users now without administrator privileges are only able to reset their passwords. We've added support for Oracle 12C. The purge threshold for LX scheduler can now be customized. We have back-end search enhancements. The LMI local file system now supports ext4. The slash and fail-safe partitions have been increased to 6 gigs. We've moved from a file-based swap to a new 16 gig swap partition. We've added support for checkpoint R80. And the SSH daemon is enabled by default now on all appliances as of 6.1. With 6.1 and LSP32, we now support the following typical products. Active Matrix BPM, Tipco Administrator, Active Matrix Administrator, Active Matrix BW, API Exchange, Business Events, EMS, and Silver Fabric. Now let's take a look at the web UI. Here you'll see the updated login page. Once you've logged in, you'll notice that we've done several improvements to the UI, of which we have a change in color scheme. The nav menu is now located on the right. We have an updated icons. We now offer a new cleaner crisper look. While the cliff paths remain the same, we have done numerous improvements throughout the web UI. We've added the last received time to the log source status page, which can now display the time when the last event has been processed or received from a log source. The maximum value of index data retention has been increased from 90 days to 10 years. You can now configure concurrent login sessions under administrator settings. The default remains LMI's original value of 100. When a session, reach, when a session limit is reached, the last concurrent login user will be logged off. Sessions which are logged off will be taken back to the login page. It should be noted that this feature requires a service restart whereby any log, current logged in user will be kicked off. EVA has been upgraded to now support VMware hardware version 9 and now supports VMware ESXi 5.1 or above as well as VMware Workstation 9X. LMI's, I'm sorry, EVA's default image is now being offered with 16 gigs of RAM and 8 cores. New with 6.1 is EVA support for AWS. This is offered with a new VHD raw disk format, which can be imported into AWS to create an LMI AMI. We've updated the LMI self-signed certificates to now support SHA-256. The management station RA sort order has been enhanced to allow sorting on the ID, model, and IP address fields. Now users without managed user privileges are only able to reset their passwords using the admin icon in the upper left of the web UI. Oracle 12C support is now possible where we support the DBA common audit trail table, which is the default. However, if you do wish to use the new 12C unified audit trail table, you can do so by enabling it in the collector config. LMI is now using ext4 on all new installs for the local file system. The size of the slash and failsafe partitions have been increased to 6 gigs on new installs only. We've moved from the sw file based swap to a new 16 gig swap partition for new installs only. Now let's take a look at the 6.1 advanced features. New with 6.1 are the advanced features, which consist of advanced search, filter and time blocks, advanced data models, smart lists, advanced dashboards, 
REST API for advanced search, and a new monthly index. We also enable support for Unity 2.6 configs, such as source configs, filter and time blocks, dashboards, and smart lists. Advanced search is supported on some H4 and all H4 R1s. The 825, the 1025, and the 3025 H4 appliances are not supported. The advanced features are not supported by HA at this time, and the advanced features are disabled by default. They can be enabled either via the web UI or the CLI. However, enabling or disabling of the advanced features will cause a service restart. So now under Administrative System Settings, you now have the ability to enable or disable the advanced features, as well as enable or disable the monthly index. It should be noted that the monthly index is dependent on the advanced features, so you must enable advanced features in order to leverage the new monthly index. Similarly, through the CLI, we have a new LogU command, which allows you to enable the advanced features or disable them, as well as a similar command for monthly index. Once the advanced features are enabled, it will show up in the nav menu upon relogin. The new advanced search offers a new search page with new user interactions. A new event query language called EQL, as well as support for the structured query language SQL. Advanced search supports search aggregation functions such as but not limited to, group by, count, min, max, and limit. You can now combine the power of regular expression searches with that of index searches, allowing for a single interface and a single query to get, you the, to get you more insight into your data. Search results tabs and charts and data panels are also available for to allow more insight into your data. Filter and time blocks contain fil either filter statements or contain absolute or relative values. Blocks are essentially a short name for a long complex query. You can then you can basically construct a long query, save it as a block, then use that in combination with filter fragments or query fragments to create a complex query to get more insight into your data. Smartlists allow a user to provide data enrichment to the query results. So users can do things such as map ports to protocol, service to application, IP to geo region, username to office, to name a few things. Again, this feature allows for enrichments of the data for the query results. Data models allow you to define parsing rules that extract columns from your data. You can define a schema for an event, which also allows you to name and specify data types for extracted columns. This allows you to either augment existing rules or create your own new custom parsing rules. Advanced Search offers dashboards. You can also create dashboards using the exact same EQL or SQL query syntax that you use in the Advanced Search feature. This allows you to quickly identify what type of dashboards you would like to create by refining that through, this, through the query syntax, then taking the exact same query and moving it to create a dashboard and widget objects. We offer a new REST API for advanced search, which allows you to leverage the exact same query language, both EQL or SQL, that you would do through the web UI. We also offer, along with the REST API, a new Swagger interface. New with 6.1 is the monthly index. The monthly index is a feature which allows you to add an additional monthly index on top of our existing hourly indexes. By adding the additional monthly indexes, searches spanning months and years are sped up, as the monthly index allows searches to quickly find which month the possible data may reside in, thereby eliminating the need to search every index to see if the data is included or not. This allows for a very, very fast uh, search result time. We have import and export functionality for the advanced features. This, however, at this time is only available through the CLI. We support import and export of data models, filter and time blocks, dashboards, and smart lists. 
Some caveats to notes. At this time, advanced features are not supported by Management Station, Distributed Search, or HA. Advanced features are also not usable by the legacy searches and do require a minimum of 16 gigs of available memory. 610 will support imports of the following Unity 2.6 configurations. Source configs, filter and time blocks, smart lists, and dashboards. Note that currently collect, uh, correlation and aggregation blocks are not supported in 6.1 but are being planned for a future release. And this concludes our presentation. Thank you.